TalPro provides a connection between time slips and QuickBooks databases. The connection eliminates double entry of data by synchronizing names and time slips in QuickBooks, updating QuickBooks with transactions data from time slips, and allowing you to create slips based on QuickBooks transactions. Before you can use the connection between the time slips and QuickBooks databases, you must set up TalPro. This training video walks you through the steps to set up TalPro with QuickBooks. First, you must start QuickBooks to enable some settings. If you are currently using QuickBooks in single user mode, you must switch to multi user mode. This allows time slips in QuickBooks to access the database at the same time. Before linking the databases, you should set up your chart of accounts in QuickBooks. These are the accounts that TalPro can update from time slips transactions. In this example, we have already set up some sample accounts for TalPro. Please contact your accountant to determine which accounts your firm should use. Because TalPro can synchronize names, you may also want to review your list of QuickBooks customers before linking the databases. After setting up and reviewing data in QuickBooks, start time slips. There are several options that must be set up there. In time slips, go to Accounting in your main menu and choose Accounting Link. Let's choose TalPro Designed for QuickBooks and click OK. Click on Accounting from the main menu again, and this time Let's choose Set Up Accounting Link. Once the Settings dialog appears, you will see several options to the left, which we will go through in order. First, let's tell TimeSlips where your QuickBooks database is by clicking on the Directory button. In this case, we will be pointing to a sample database for this video. Next, you can choose to have TimeSlips connect to QuickBooks at startup or connect when needed. When needed, we'll connect to QuickBooks during any sync or a manual connection using the new Quick Connect button at the bottom of Time Slips. For this video, we will choose Connect When Needed. Once you have selected your QuickBooks database, click OK and then click the Quick Connect button at the bottom of Time Slips. TalPro will attempt to connect to QuickBooks. Switch over to QuickBooks to accept the connection from TalPro. You have a few options for how TalPro can connect to QuickBooks. In this example, we will allow TalPro to access QuickBooks even when the QuickBooks database is closed. TimeSlips is now successfully connected to your QuickBooks application. If you ever want to check the status of your QuickBooks connection as well as the QuickBooks database you were pointed to, then click Accounting, View Connection Status, and the dialog that appears gives you more information on the status of your connection. Let's review some of the many options in your new TalPro link. Go to Accounting, Set up Accounting Link, choose Method Style. Here, you can choose Cash or Accrual Method. However, check with your accountant to make sure you choose the correct one that matches your QuickBooks database. We can define the styles of invoices, transactions, and WIP that go over as well. For now, we will leave the defaults. Let's click Options. Here, we are able to define the date that Suspense will use when posting to QuickBooks. You can either use the original date of the payment or the date of the actual transfer. Next, we can define the date that payments will use if you have a situation where your payment date is actually earlier than your actual invoice. And finally, you can define how withdrawals and refund transactions transfer. Choose either as general general entries or checks. Towards the bottom of this page, we are able to set payment from account transactions to transfer as checks. You can choose to write one check for all payment from account transactions or have each transaction write its own check. Finally, the last section on this page allows you to set if you want to prompt for a transfer after generating your bills. 
If you enable this option, not only can you still run a manual posting, but you will now be prompted after each bill run to post to QuickBooks as well. The last option is a prompt to transfer to QuickBooks after undoing a bill in time slips. Let's move on to the Accounts and Taxes section. Specific Accounts lets you separate charges. For example, you may want to separate charges for each timekeeper. Check with your accountant to verify your posting settings. In this video, we will not post to specific accounts. Click on the Entries section. Here, we can define the next journal number used when posting to QuickBooks. The journal number is incremented automatically. However, you can choose to move forward or backwards if you wish. Some firms may want to use the initials of the accountant or business in their journal entries. Journal prefixes and reverse journal prefixes can be customized and by default they are marked with TS and TSR. You can also change where the memo text in the journal entry on your GL report comes from using the Dropbox labeled Memo Comes From. At the bottom of this page, if you are using a summary style for your WIP posting, then you would be able to customize how your journal numbers, customers, and memo fields appear and post as to your GL report. Let's move on to the closed periods section. There may be times where you have defined a closed period in your QuickBooks database. In those cases, you may not want times of posting entries to closed periods. You can define an earliest date acceptable to GL to avoid time slips from posting to those closed periods. Once you have defined a date, you can then set a rule on how time slips handles entries that fall behind your minimum date. This concludes this video. We will discuss the linked names section in another video for syncing names between time slips and QuickBooks.